Jada put up the Christmas tree for me and I'm really happy that she did because I wanted it up but I didn't want to do the work. Let's see, we have to have kind of like a narrow tree because it's only this little space right here. That's the front door. And it's little space to pass by so we can't have these big overpowering trees. And I don't do a live tree because the pine itches my skin, messes up with our respiratory tract and stuff. So let me show you some of the ornaments on the tree. Look at this. This is a felt thing here that my Aunt Kathy from Utah made for me years ago. See? All these are her handiwork. Uh, Jory's uh, first baby Christmas ornament from Hallmark. And he happens to have two because uh, my sister gave him one and we bought him one. This is Jada's. And this is Josh's. A friend of mine gave that to him. And... I have wooden things. I like stuff made of wood on the tree. I don't like those balls that can fall and break. And see, this is another one from Kathy. My friend used to send me a, a small Christmas tree, a live one, years ago every Christmas. And these are the ornaments that went on it. And Jada got these beads somewhere. <laughs> we call them um, Mardi Gras beads. And we have on the tree. And of course, dragonflies, because you know I love dragonflies. And a ballerina for Jada, because she used to take dance for years when she was younger. And little cloth angels. I don't have cats, but I surely have things on the tree that won't break. So this would be a cat-friendly tree. <laughs> and she doesn't put anything on the back, of course. We've got a little Santa. So this camera doesn't do it justice, but I think it's gorgeous anyways. Don't you think? How would you guys feel if somebody that you cared about dearly, somebody that you spoke to daily, somebody that you confided in and they confided in you and you were supporting them and championing them in a wedding that they had dreamed and wished for and then all of a sudden, two days after the last day you spoke to them, you see pictures posted on Facebook with the wedding. I mean, granted it was a small gathering of eight people, but it was at a chapel, so I know it had to have been planned. And the attire worn was color coordinated. The dress was suitable for a wedding, even if it wasn't a wedding dress per se. So you know that there was some planning involved in it. And they spoke to you up to two days before the wedding and didn't tell you anything at all. Not only did not invite you, but didn't even tell you it's coming to pass and how excited they were and happy. And how would that make you feel? Because at first I was stunned, and then I was hurt and angry, and then now I just feel indifferent. And I haven't spoken to this person since the wedding. It's been about three days. And um, the way I operate when I get hurt, I just shut down and I move on. I don't confront. I guess I would confront if it would solve something. But I just know I'm going to hear lies, like, oh, it's spur of the moment, and you were busy at the shop, and... No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. They know exactly what they did. They know they wanted to leave me off that invitation list for some reason or the other. And uh, basically, I am so angry. How would it make you guys feel? Am I blowing it out of proportion? Because Joe seems more angry than me. And I'm angry. And everybody who loves me, you know, they called me and they're like, we love you, we'd never do this to you, okay? Because they saw the pictures, just like going around like wildfire. <laughs> hey, you wish if you look good like we have. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I have to put up with all my marriage. Um, December the 20th, we're going to be celebrating 28 years of marriage. And I've been with Joe for 30 years. And um, this is what I put up with. You know, he's always thinking he's cuter than the whole world. Is that true? If you don't think it, who else going to think it for you? <laughs> That's what he tells the kids. If you don't think you're beautiful, who else is going to think it for you? So you got to think it for yourself. <laughs> That's one of Joe-isms. <laughs> um, I'm excited today because we're heading to Lowe's. And I'm going to go buy a few of the, um, the hardware, the knobs for the cabinets. They're so expensive. The 99 cents one look like 99 cents. And mine don't have to be fancy, but they have to have a big covering because some of the cabinets have some big holes where the hardware goes so I have to have something to cover the hole 
and then also I don't know what I'm gonna do about the back part so we're gonna go ask questions and buy maybe at least seven they're like four dollars a pop they're expensive and I need 25 for the whole kitchen so I uh, this kitchen project is definitely a step-by-step -step thing because it is super expensive you know to try to make over a kitchen even if it's like a little flimsy makeover like the one I'm doing we're in Lowe's we got stuff right there for the kitchen cabinet see what it looks like in my hand the black ones Joe had to get longer screws because of those holes we have to deal with in the cabinet doors and that stick Joe show me that stick Joe show me that stick that stick right there is how he's gonna remedy the problem I told you guys Joe is MacGyver there's a lot of noise in this store that's affecting my ear. My ears feel full and I got dizzy a little while ago. That forklift backing up, there's like air conditioning sounds and maybe even a silent alarm sound, but I'm not having a good time today in Lowe's and I'm so happy Joe brought me. But um, I don't hear these noises in Home Depot. Joe doesn't hear any of this because he can't hear. But what Joe's doing. He has this long stick here, it's a doll, and he's making it, he's putting it in this hole in the cabinet door because the cabinet door became like those people's ear, <laughs> you know those people that are stretching their ears, and hey, you're messing up my stuff, hold on, hold on, see how it is, I mean these cabinets are old but you can't replace them but see how big the hole is, so a screw uh, will not go like a, the screw that goes on the end of the the knob like this it'll pull right through so he's putting a doll in there to remedy the problem he's gonna use some wood glue and wax. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how you guys can fix your cabinets I'm glad I thought of this idea because this is kind of like a cork that Joe's putting in the hole to fix it, <laughs> to seal it up. And then once it's dry, once the glue is all dry, he's going to sandpaper off the excess and then he's going to pierce the correct hole and then we can put on the knob. So that's a fix, right? Now take a look at my blinds. This is contact paper. Take a look at the bees, see? And I'm going to change the contact paper. The kids want me to put a curtain here. But they splash when they do the dishes, and I have a feeling I'll be washing the curtain all the time. So I might put new contact paper, and then perhaps put my little logo cartoon thing on the blind. So when the blinds are closed, you can see the logo. Then here behind the stove, I have the same pattern going. And the reason I picked the bees is because the honey healed my acid reflux disease, so I paid tribute to the bees. But in any case, I'm going to put a backsplash here, but everything has to come in due time. So Joe brought me to Pollo Loco. The food here is good, but it's loaded with sodium and possibly MSG. So I'm probably going to have to take a water pill when I go home. So Joe got chicken, rice, and coleslaw. I got a salad with refried beans and chicken. And then these are all the salsas. So we got out of the thing. We like it hot. Hi. Don't talk to you when you're eating? <laughs> Yeah, I make a taco in mine. And Joe grabbed my skin just now. I don't eat the skin because I think whatever the spice is, if it has MSG or too much salt, it's in the skin. So I'm gonna see if I get sick later. That's Joe's taco. He puts coleslaw with a bunch of mess. Joe Oh my goodness, we got home from Pollo Loco just in time to beat this deluge. I'm gonna leave you guys with the sound of the rain. see more vlogs don't forget to subscribe also check out my other two channels the product review channel bear pantry talk and the cooking show the bear pantry show come have some fun with us